Going Zero Waste with Minimalism With the drastic changes brought about by COVID-19 pandemic, especially in health and environment, Going Zero Waste with Minimalism is my solution. With our current waste problem, ito yung nakikita kong solusyon paano magiging zero waste yung Pilipinas. Change is inevitable. Change is constant, but change is tough. I started Zero Waste Lifestyle maybe around year 2004, and yet, until now, ang hirap pa rin abutin ng Zero Waste. Back in year 2019, I read a book about Fumiya Sasaki. It's about minimalism. After reading all books with similar content, I realized and decided to become minimalist and combine zero waste with minimalism in quest to attain the zero waste lifestyle. Kasi with minimalism, it's a lifestyle that eliminates the unnecessary and focus on what really matters in your life. Kaya paunti-unti, malilesa na po yung kalat natin sa ating sarili. Sa minimalism and zero waste kasi merong basihan or rule paano ka magiging minimalist and paano ka magiging zero waste. With zero waste minimalism rules, ang dami mong i-let go para ma-accommodate mo yung mga bagay na mas maganda and mas importante. With these rules, ang daming mga bagay na di mo na matatapon at dahil wala ka nang masyadong binibili. Refusing is the best way to go zero waste. You are creating a positive change in yourself by assessing and evaluating what truly matters. Minimalism will help me dissociate from social norms, especially in consumerism in this digital age. Disclaimer lang po, I am not referring to the brands and companies on these pictures na nakikita ninyo. But I am referring on the items and the waste or clutter they create. When you refuse to buy these or limit your consumption on these, according to the law of supply and demand, mas liliit po yung kalat natin. And our natural resources and environment ang makaka-benefit ng mabuti. Invest in yourself. Going zero waste with minimalism is mahirap. Lalo na lahat na nakakapaligid sa iyo ay nagiging kaahaway mo na dahil di, di ka na nila gets. Pero dahil malayo pa ang nalakari natin from zero waste, I have to invest in myself first. I have to endure the process and let everyone testify my sacrifices are worth emulating. I first invested in making time for my lifestyle and advocacy para makita ko na yung progress and eventually ma-reach ko na yung goal ko. Kahit gaano ako ka-busy sa school, I always find time to maintain and establish actions to promote and sustain zero waste. I started Zero Waste Living way back 2004 and Minimalism last 2019 and yet the challenge is heightened every year. Ang hirap talaga pero kakayanin dahil kung di mo gagawin, mas mahihirapan ang earth mag-recover. After long years of sacrifice, abstinence, and persistence, Nag-invest na ako sa karelasyon ko. <laughs> I started out with my family and then friends, neighbors, and then with communities. Matagal-tagal din bago nila ako sinuportahan. So, balit, napakasarap pala talaga kapag nag-harvest ka na sa mga itinanim mo. This pandemic, I started to invest in the young. According to Proverbs 22.6, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Little by little, tinuturuan ko silang magtapo ng tama, maging responsibilidad sa trash nila, and magmotivate din sa ibang bata. After my trainings from Climate Reality, the goal of Zero Waste Philippines, 
ay sobrang mahaba pa at matagal pa. Ninais kong mapabilis ang daloy at movement nito sa pamamagitan ng pag-a-advertise, pag-promote, and pag-recruit. May mga ibang taong gustong mag-zero waste pero nahihirapan kaya gumagawa na lang ako ng mga strategies para makapag-zero waste sila pa unti-unti. With zero waste minimalism, going zero waste this pandemic is very possible. Much possible kapag inaraw-araw mo. We can only predict our future by the lifestyle we have today. So I dare to be a zero waste minimalist because I only want to see results of a cleaner, greener, safer earth and gusto ko maging significant yung existence ko. Maraming salamat po!